Hello friends, so today we're going to be learning about the shift resistor. So let's understand why do we need a shift resistor. So as you can see, on the Arduino board, we have a limited number of pins. So if we keep connecting components on the Arduino board, soon we will run out of pins. So in this situation, we need a shift resistor. So by connecting a shift resistor to the Arduino board, we get more output pins. And we can connect more components to the Arduino board. So now let's see how does the shift resistor work and how to connect it to the Arduino board. So this is the pinout for the 74HC595 shift resistor. There's so many different types of shift resistor, but this is the 74HC595 shift resistor we will talk about. So let's understand all 16 pins. So it is a serial in parallel out, so which takes data serially and outputs them parallelly to so all 16 pins. So let's understand each pin. Pins 1 through 7 and pin number 15 are all output pins, so we can connect components with them. Pin number 8 is the ground. Pin number 9, which is the serial out, we use that if we want to connect another shift resistor to the board. Uh, we will talk about that in our next blog. Pin number 10 is the master reset. We will also talk about that in our next blog. Pin number 11 is the clock pin. This clocks data in into the shift resistor. This works with pin number 14, which is the data pin. Clocks all the data into the shift resistor. Pin number 12 is a storage resistor, which is the latch pin. So in the program, we turn the latch pin off so the clock pin can clock all the data into the shift resistor and then we turn the latch pin on. We do this so we can prevent flickering. Pin number 13 is the output enable. It is a negative switch, so we have to turn it to low so the shift resistor is on. If you turn it to high, then the shift resistor is off. And lastly, pin number 16 is VCC, which is for the power. So that are all the 16 pins for the shift resistor. So this is the H4SC595 shift resistor we have connected onto our board. So this is the shift resistor we have connected right over here. So the data pin, the clock pin, and the latch pin are all connected to pin number 8, 11, and 12. And you can see here the red and green wire that are the power and the ground. Then we have connected all the output pins to right here to the LEDs, which are the white wires right here. They are all the output pins connected to the LEDs. So now let's talk about the program. So this is the program for the shift register. So here first we declare three variables, the latch pin, the clock pin, and the data pin. Which is pin number eight to pin 12 and to pin number 11. So down here in the push data function, we first delaying for the delay time and then we turn the latch pin off or low. So we can insert all the data into the shift register. So using the shift out function, so it takes four parameters, the data pin, the clock pin, the bit order, and the data. So for the bit or by order, it's LSB first, or we can do MSB first, doesn't matter. And here we're turning the latch pin high. So, in the loop function, we have created four patterns. So I will be explaining the LED pattern. So here in the LED pattern, it, as it does first LEDs 1 and LEDs 2. So here on the board, we have eight LEDs, four red and four blue. So in this pattern, it will turn the reds on and then the blues on. So it will turn the odd ones on and the evens one on. So here, uh, LEDs 1, which is of type byte, is 10101010, which means it turns the odds on and the evens off. And then we do LEDs 2, which is 01010101, which turns the evens on and the odds off. So, I will show a quick demo. So as you can see, first the reds are turning on 
And then the blues are turning on. I will show the other pat other patterns I've made too. I'll show the ping pong pattern. So this is the ping pong pattern as you can see. I will show the back and forth pattern now. So as you can see, this is the back and forth pattern. All the LEDs turn on and then it goes back. So it goes forward and then it goes back. So that is the back and forth pattern. Now last is the binary number display. So this is the binary number display. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked it.